Hello guys, it's been a while. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a win wing and blender. And it's quite easy. You just press spacebar and then you go to add mesh and add c cylinder and you get this. Now you just basically extrude with the E button and go up mess around with it. Now honestly the wing is probably the most easiest thing you can make on the dragon besides the tail. It's only the added details like if you want to make more wing fingers or any sort of horns or spikes on it. That's when it starts to get a little detailed or complicated. I'll be making one little spike in this tutorial so that you can get the idea of how to add more wing fingers or spikes to your wing. And right now we're just basically adding the joint. Remember, if you want it to animate well, then you're going to have to add just a little bit more um, loop cuts that's using your K. And when and you could actually increase the amount of loop cuts by using your scroll the scrolling on your mouse button, and you just press um, you just um, click and like oh, usual when it's there. Now we're just gonna finish adding the rest of the wing. And now what I did there was I pressed W and I pressed. And then I pressed merge, and then I did at center, and it creates a point in the mesh. Okay, I'm going to just make this wing a little bit more bigger. Now this probably isn't the most detailed wing, but you don't need to put that much detail into wings. They usually still look good no matter um, how like low poly or whatever they are. This one's more of the medium poly because we chose, well I did, I chose about like maybe 20 or so vert vertices and loops in the cylinder at the start. Okay, and this is how I'm going to add the the horn on the wing. Basically you need to just delete some vertices um, delete some vertices or faces and just shape the area that you want the claw in in a little bit of a circular-ish area. Make sure that the mesh kinda agrees with it though. You don't want any sharp straight lines coming out. Now you just basically select all those vertices and you just extrude and you s size them with the S key and if you need to rotate you press the R key and now we have a pretty decent looking horn. You could actually use the exact this exact same um, uh, way to make the other wing fingers if you want more than one. Right now we're just going to use one so that it could be relatively quicker today. See, that looks rather nice. And remember, you could add as many as you want, but you might need to lo use loop cut a bit so that you'll be able to do it. Now, all that I'm doing is just selecting a few vertices and extruding one, and I'm basically making the um, the, the thin skin of the wing. This is probably the most uh, I, I don't know if it's the easiest, but it is very simple. It's just, it, it takes a little while because extruding the one in the correct spot can be a little tedious. Now I'm going to change this a little bit because I don't like the triangle there. And this is basically 
it. I mean, you could be, and you could make the wing on however we want, and you could use almost the exact same method in order to make, uh, I guess a feathered wing or even a butterfly wing. It really just depends on how you make the. Um, it's just that a usually a bird's wing is thicker, you know, and uh, usually more feathery, and you can add bunches of little feathers to it if you want, or you could just use that with the textures. I I would I would totally recommend just doing the textures, but <laughs> and that's basically it. Enjoy the rest of the, the show, and I hope you tune in next time. Thank you, and subscribe. Have a great day. Yeah.